Oh hey, welcome to the Fishing Warzo channel. My name is Rick. Today, I thought I would show you guys how to tie up a Carolina rig. First, let's get our stuff together. So we're gonna need a hook, your weight, a swivel, your beads, and your soft bait. So, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is take your line, line that's going out to the rod, and you're gonna put on your weight. I like to use bullet weights. You put the thinner side, smaller end, through first. So that way, that side is closer to your rod, and you let that float free. After that, you're gonna do your bead. Some people like to do one, two, I've seen three beads. Uh, I, I like to do two, that way it just adds a little bit of sound. These are glow-in-the-dark beads. I, I don't know how much that, that's gonna help, but I thought it was fun, so uh, we're gonna do that. And again, those are just floating free. So after you have those slipped onto the line, you're gonna wanna take that swivel. You're gonna tie that swivel onto your line. Like I said before, if you can't tie a knot, tie a lot. I'm just gonna do a little clench knot because it's easy and that's what I'm thinking about right now. And so now you have weight, bead, and swivel on your main line. After that, you can go ahead, snip off that excess. Get out of here. So then you're gonna take another piece of leader line. Uh, I'd say make this between eight inches and 16 inches or so. I, 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 really, that's up to you, but uh, I like to do mine probably about that length. You're going to tie that onto the other side of the swivel. Again, I'm just going to go with a little clench knot. And then you can clip that excess line. So there you have weight, B, swivel, and your leader line. From there, you're gonna tie on your hook. I'm using a three aught hook here. You can use whatever you like. And again, should be no surprise, we're gonna go with the brush knot. And then we're gonna clip that excess. So now you should be starting to see your setup a little bit there. Kind of get what you're getting at. The last thing we're gonna do is throw on our soft bait. Again, I'm using a uh, 13 fishing bubble butt worm. Uh, but use whatever you like, use whatever makes you happy, whatever has the best action, size depending. You know, it's, uh, you know, go ahead and have fun with it. So to do this, it goes right in the top right at the tip of your uh, your worm there. And you go about a half inch or so in and come right up through. And slide that all the way up to your eyelet. 
Again, some people go through the eyelid. I like to go right under the eyelid. Then measure with your fingers. Hook all the way through. Lay it right up against there. And then if you want, you can make it weedless by sticking that through. You don't necessarily have to, but you can. And that's called skin in the hook. So then you have the Carolina rig all set up. And this is kind of neat. It gives yourself a, it's like a Texas rig with a little bit more sound and a little bit longer of a leader. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorites to run uh, and it, it works. So I hope I was able to teach you something and uh, I guess I'll see you on the water.